what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're talking about muhammad usman versus thomas peterson not great fighters but usman in the ufc has been better i believe thomas peterson is one on the contender series but he lost against jamal pagus and in a fight to where i thought Jam uh thought thomas peterson can use his speed he did not look great in that matchup neither guy really did but jamal was the better boxer and i won him the fight Fighting Muhammad Usman, who's ten and three, three and uh, three and two in his last five fights, minus one fifty favorite, which I get for sure. Sixty six, Jesus, six two with a seventy nine inch reach. Thomas Peterson, eight eight and two, three and two as well in his last five fights, plus one twenty five underdog. Twenty nine years old, six one with a seventy four inch reach, one inch in height, five inch in advantage for Usman. Obviously, we know Muhammad Usman is Kamar Usman's uh, brother. Again, we already know this by this point. He weighed 237 in his last one to 261 and a half for Thomas Peterson. I would assume Peterson's going to come in a whole lot lighter than that. 261 is ridiculous. Usman is the, has more power. I think Peterson, again, in this matchup, mm -hmm. will have speed advantage. The problem I have with that is he's not great defensively, as we see, as we look right here. He's not great defensively. Eight and two, like I was saying. One loss, obviously lost to, to Jamal. Has eight finishes, one submission, but he also has seven first round finishes. I don't see him getting a first round finish against Kamaru Usman, or not Kamaru Usman, Muhammad Usman, obviously. He was finished uh, in the third against Waldo Cortez Acosta on the, in LFA 129. Back in 2022, if you haven't seen that knockout, it's pretty nuts. Pretty, pretty. Pretty cool, to be honest. But um, again, he, he's a good finisher. He, especially when he's um, like in shape. Like there's been a couple times where he's he's fought, and he's been like two fifty two here. That's not too much better. But you look at his pictures, and there's been times where he's he's weighed a lot less two fifty seven. Um, Chandler Cole, that one. I believe he was huge. On this one, 264, just at the late limit. Vernon Lewis, 242, so that's the lowest he's, he, we have seen him. But if you look at his pitchers, he's been low before. So you look at that, I would assume he's going to come in at 245, 250, 255. Um, I, I believe he probably has the better cardio. I just I don't like his chances of taking a punch from Usman. And... Usman has good takedowns. I don't think Usman's uh, uh, striking defense is great, especially for his age. I just think that striking defense is not came into its own, as we know. But uh, ranked 32 uh, heavyweight, you know, in the world. I believe it's the world, right? Current best MMA heavyweight fighter. Yeah. So six finishes, four by TKO or KO. Has been submitted once, lost two decisions, three and one in the UFC. Only has one finish, and that was his debut against uh, what's his freaking name, Zach Pawanga, who's no longer in the UFC. I love Zach Pawanga on the Ultimate Fighter, and he just did not live to what I really thought he could could have been. But he's also thirty six years old. As a heavyweight, you can get away with that for a little bit, but it just never really worked out. Jake Collier had some really good moments until the eye poke. And then the takedowns, how big, how big um, uh, Usman is. It just really showed in that fight. And I could see this fight kind of playing out like, like the McPark in this fight's going to a decision. Unless Usman can find a big punch. So if you're going to bet decision or KO for Usman, over one and a half, I personally would say. I, I do think this fight goes over. Again, unless you're going to take the shot that Kamaru, or not Kamaru, Muhammad Usman can catch uh, Thomas Peterson. Uh, with a, you know, with a big punch. So I have uh, Muhammad Usman by KO or decision over one and a half. I would assume those odds are going to be really, really good. And as always, guys, subscribe, comment. Let me know who you are picking. Let's talk about it down there in the comment section. Peace.